Hi everyone, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something um, a little bit simple and short, more informative than anything. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my pen pal letters and my tips and my tricks and different ideas if you are stuck or whatever, um, or if you just wanna know a little bit more about the pen pal world and things like that, um, keep on watching the video if you're interested. And if you're new here, hi, welcome back, or welcome to All Things Kawaii. Please take a moment and subscribe down below for more videos like this and much more in the future. And hit that post notification bell as well so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get into this video. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what pen palling is. If you don't know what pen palling is, basically it's when you and a stranger write letters to each other and um, most of the time you have like common interests or similar things that you like and you just write letters to each other about what's going on in your life and now it has become like a really big thing or it's been a big thing um, and I love it because something about writing a letter is so much better than just like Sometimes it's nice to just write a letter and not talk on the phone before. You can always like send um, Snapchats or you can um, FaceTime. There's so many of those things that you can do, but writing a letter, I feel like it's more personal. And it's also really lets out the crafty side of you um, if you like putting things together like that. Um, I haven't been pen palling very long and this is going to sound extremely stupid, but I've been practicing on my two friends <laughs> and uh, yeah, my friends. Um, I, I think I'm going to go onto this one website. I can't remember the name of it, but you sign up to uh, look for a pen pal. They basically assign you a pen pal um, from anywhere in the world that you choose from or what country you choose from. And it's supposed to be basically like... They figure out who has common interests and things like that and then they pair you up so it's kind of like a safer way to do it um so you're not put with someone like insane or that's gonna stalk you so i want to do that and i also want to well i need to get a p.o box and a p.o box is kind of looks kind of expensive actually um it adds up per month but i do need to get a p.o box so that the, you know whoever is my pen pal doesn't have like my real address unless they're crazy or something you never know nowadays like it's it's crazy but anyway, um, yeah, so I practice on my two friends and <laughs> um, again, really stupid, but we're both, we're all like um, very crafty. We like putting things together. We love art. And uh, so this is something that is great because I can practice on them and figure out like kind of my style and what I like to do and the different ideas that I have. So it's really fun. So if you're going to start to pin pal, I recommend that you start with somebody that is um, your friend or a family member or somebody that lives in the next city or even in the state or something, somebody that you already know you could do a pen pal letter with to, first of all, so it's safe and second of all, so that you can practice on them until you get more comfortable with your writing skills and with um, your crafting skills and all of that stuff and putting those things together. Um, so those are two tips that I say, just um, practice if you're not ready. I know some people think that it's they run out of ideas, they don't know what to do. Um, so I just say you just practice on someone that you know before you get a real pen pal. And then of course the safety issue, always go to a reputable like site where you can get um, a safe pen pal um, friend. Okay, so enough about that. Now I'm gonna show you a sample pen pal letter that I wrote to my friend. <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but again, I'm only practicing um, on them. But anyway, um, it's really cool though because I learned stuff about them that actually I didn't even know about. Um, different facts and weird things and we ask each other questions that normally I wouldn't ask in like a simple like a normal situation of us like hanging out so I think it's kind of cool to get to know somebody you think you know but you really don't know them very well you get more personal with them if that makes sense and it's in a letter and it involves art so win-win so the first thing that I like to do um, is figure out my theme so this is the letter here my sample letter the first thing I like to do is figure out my theme before I start anything. So for this letter's theme, I decided to go with um, roses, pink roses, and kind of like a Paris, a Paris theme with navy blues, creams, and like pinks, and a little bit of like yellows and taupes. 
Um, so figure out that, figure out your color scheme and gather all your materials. So I like to gather all my materials before I start anything. I know some people like to just start and then kind of like gather things as they go. Now for me, more time efficient is to just gather all your things before you do anything. So these are the washi tapes that I use in this letter. This really pretty floral one, this navy and polka dot, and this like pale pink thin one. These are all from the Dollar Tree. And for some reason, when it comes to a theme, if you are stuck on a theme, get a sticker sheet, get a random washi tape and use that as uh, like your where your theme stems out of that is going to help you so much because even when I'm journaling sometimes I'm like I don't even know what to do I don't even know what theme to make like I'm completely lost and, and this doesn't only go for like journaling your pen paling can go for pretty much anything just pick out a random medium and use that as your inspiration and you can really like branch out from there so then I gather all my materials I gather my washi tape the next thing I gather are all my stickers. So these are the stickers that I used. And then I gather my writing utensils. So I have my Crayola Super Tips, the pink and navy that are from Target. And this like really bright pink pen that is from the 99 cent store from a set. And um, gather all those things and any other thing that you may think you need. So I like to use scrap of paper um, recently. Um, this is like my I think my third sample letter and I'm getting a lot better at putting things together and figuring out my groove when it comes to pen paling so and it's a lot of fun but um yeah so that's what I do now for my everybody has different formats when it comes to writing your pen pal letter so the main thing is the letter obviously and this is who it's to, my my friend Sylvia um so I like to use a uh, an eight by an eight by nine um, size. So regular computer paper, I just kind of trim it down. It's just a little bit smaller. And uh, I just start decorating. I draw on it sometimes, doodle on it. Of course, add stickers. Um, I use this like glitter scrap of paper and this like navy washi tape. And then I just write my letter, just a very simple letter and uh, you know, what's been going on in my life and all that stuff. Um, and that's the main thing. Don't feel like you need to do all this extra stuff because the main thing obviously is the letter. That's why it's called the pen pal letter. Um, now I know some people like to add a list of like suggested movies you should watch or suggested um, shows or whatever. I don't add any of those things, uh, maybe in the future, but I do ask questions. So here's my little question sheet for her. So I just asked her five random questions and I decorated it. Um, so as you see up here, I used a little wavy like scissor um, to get that really cool kind of like um, scalloped detailed on the top. So you could use stuff like that. And the scissors are actually from the Dollar Tree. But um, yeah, so those are my questions and then I my answers to my questions. So I answer those so she knows my point of view. And I like to go into a little bit more depth with my answers. So that's why I use a bigger sheet of paper here. And then she asks me questions as well. So of course I answer those questions that she asked me. And that's how I decorated that. I also like to add a playlist, which is kind of new. Um, and a lot of people use uh, or do this. Basically, you ask or you add ten songs or five songs, whatever amount of songs that you think that your pen teller would like, um, and you just put the title and the artist. And I have my playlist. The next thing I like to add is just a cute little sticky note that's just saying I hope that they like their letter. And then of course I have um, the envelope, which I'm not going to show. Um, so it just looks like that. The sticker is so cute. Um, and by the way, you can use like pop-up stickers. You can use um, rhinestones to decorate the envelopes and stuff. 3D stickers. And if you're worried about stuff like that getting damaged in the mail, just put it into like a little parcel, slip it into that. So that way it doesn't get damaged on the way over to your pen pal or, um, or pen pal friend. So I recommend that. Now the next thing is extras. Now this that's why it's called extras because you don't have to do it but I like it I think it's so much fun um, just exchanging stationery and stickers and so I put everything in a little pouch like this that is from Hobby Lobby I just decorate it I put the contents that's in here and uh, those are just all extras so I like to add recently some like random little sheets of paper some scrapbook paper that they can use in their next letter or just add to their stationary collection whatever 
and then two customized sticker sheets. So whenever you have a sticker sheet or a sticker book that you are done with, don't throw it away. Save your wax paper because you can use it to make customized sticker sheets. Now you kind of have to press hard on the stickers because sometimes they'll fall off. Um, but what I find that works really good is when you put them together, put them facing each other and then use like a little washi tape and tape it to the sides like that so that they don't come out. Um, so I like to add that. And then I add some washi tape samples. These little white cards are from Romway. I just cut it to make it look like a tag and use a hole punch to make a hole and then add some twine just to give it a different little look here. And then I just add whatever washi tape samples that I'd like to give to her. And then memo sheets and sticky notes, like sticky flags, all of that. I just gather some really cute ones and put that there. Recently on Sanrio, they actually have um, a lot of free printables on there and they have many uh, printable little cards. They're just so cute. They have my little twin stars. Um, I think they have a Gudetama one, but this is a Hello Kitty one. And I thought that this would be something cute to add a an inspirational quote or a quote that I'm really like for that week or something, just to add something positive and just a little something extra. Um, but again, you don't have to do that. And then I have this clear bag that's from the Dollar Tree. I like these because they are resealable and you could reuse them. And I put all of my sticker flakes in there just so that they don't get lost with the rest of the envelope and they stay put. Um, so I put all different sizes in here. I usually put like one or two big die cuts and the rest of like medium to small and tiny sticker flakes. Okay, and then also new, I decided to add some cute little random um, like pictures or something that I print off from my computer and add that to my little sticker flake bag just so they, they can use to glue onto their journal spreads or whatever they want. So you can always add little like pictures like that. And then I always get a random cute little picture that I print off and I use my little Xyron mini sticker maker and make a customized sticker, which is really cute and nice. And you can make multiple of them. You can get the Xyron sticker machine. Um, they have different sizes, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby and I think they have them at Michael's too. All right guys, so there you go. Those are my tips and tricks and how I uh, plan out my pen pal letters or my practice pen pal letters. I can't wait to actually start getting real pen pals uh, from different countries. Um, it's gonna be really exciting and I'm hoping to do that pretty soon. Um, so stay tuned for those coming out. Let me know in the comments what did you think of this video and if you have any other tips, any other ideas um, that you like to do when you do your actual pen pal letters, um, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to All Things Kawaii for more videos just like this and much more. And hit that post notification bell as well so you're notified whenever I upload a video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Katrina. link in the description for more of my kawaii room and collection and much more. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next video and as always, stay kawaii my friends. And also I wanted to mention the sun is going down so it's dark. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the lighting, it's weird. This was just like a really random video. Like I finished this letter and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. So now here we are. Okay, well, I hope you liked it. Stay kawaii, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.